Hello, I'm Michael, founder of StutterMind. I'm a lifelong severe stutterer who now speaks fluently. In this video, I'm going to talk about brain neuroplasticity of the brain, the most complex structure in the world, hands down. We have over 100 million neurons in our brain. Each neuron can have thousands of connections, creating neural connections happening in our brain. Amazing. These connections, the neurons will communicate through electrical impulses at lightning speed. Our brain is extremely complex. There's still a lot we don't know about our brain. We've always thought that we are born with a certain number of neurons and that was fixed. We now know that is false. Our brain creates new neurons throughout our entire life. More importantly, is that we can change the neuro network that our brain has. Our neuro network is based on inputs and experiences and thoughts that we have, which makes all of our brains very unique. And we can reshape that neuro network and the changing, the rewiring of the brain is neuroplasticity. Extremely exciting breakthrough. And it has a number of applications, including speech. It's amazing how much we can change our brain, but we can influence and lead and control the neural network. Um, there is, there are a significant number of things that we can do in a number of areas. We can create new neural pathways that didn't exist before, learn new things. We can strengthen existing neural pathways. We can starve current neural pathways so they're no longer available or uh, as strong as they were before. There's all sorts of things that we can do um, to the neural network. There's a saying, neurons that fire together wire together. So if you have experiences and training inputs over and over again, those neurons in that network will actually wire together and it becomes habit, it becomes familiar, it becomes easy. Um, that's what we can do with our brain, is that we can actually uh, stimulate our brain and what we want to actually uh, fire together and wire together and change how our brain is actually structured. I mentioned there's a lot of different applications for this. So I think about people who are deaf. The region of the brain where those neurons are available to support hearing, if there's no stimuli, those neurons can be repurposed for other functions, and they often are. People who are deaf typically have extremely good vision. Their peripheral vision is much wider than those people who are not deaf. It's a result of brain neuroplasticity. Same with people who are blind. The region of the brain and those neurons that are available uh, at birth to support vision, if they're not used, they can be repurposed and rewired to support hearing or other activities. Amputees will, will stop having stimuli to their brain for um, that finger or that arm or that leg. And, and within two to eight months, the neurons in the brain can be repurposed to support other activities in that same area. If you were to lose a finger within two to eight months, those neurons can support increased sensation in the other fingers nearby. It's amazing. If you have a stroke, massive damage can occur in your brain, causing motor disabilities, significant ones. Through neuroplasticity, your brain can heal itself. It can actually repurpose healthy cells and begin to support the damaged cells and you can actually make progress on the functionality that's been lost through brain neuroplasticity. Same is true with speech. We have been reinforcing certain neural pathways, how we speak. When I go to say my name, I know I can't say it. That neural pathway says, when you say Michael, you will get stuck. And I typically would get stuck. Um, creating new neural pathways. Now, I've starved that neural pathway, I created a new one, 
and I can say, my name is Michael, and I'm firing on that new neural network. I've starved the old network. It's amazing the amount of power that we have over the neural networks in our brains. We can recruit new neurons, we can repurpose neurons, we can starve neurons. It's all the input, it's all the training and stimulus, environmental, all actually help shape our neural network. It makes us all very unique because we have all different experiences. We're not bystanders here, that we can actually have some influence, some significant influence on how our brain works. We can use this in a number of ways. At StutterMind, we're going to teach you how to actually retrain, rewire your brain, taking advantage of brain neuroplasticity. It's a massive, major breakthrough, and it's terribly exciting. And sign up, become a member, watch the videos, and we'll teach you how to rewire your brain and learn to speak fluently like me.